All right, so it's been a while since the last update or the devlog or what? I don't even know what it's called. Anyways, let's get right into it. So I decided to switch over from mono game to unity, mainly because I started learning more about how threading works in terms of game development and the things started making a bit more sense. This has been quite an interesting journey from WPF to mono game to unity. Now again, I know I explained this in the last one, but I'm mainly doing this in order for me to develop a network server, which I've rewritten like three times since the last episode, but it's okay. Now let's get into what the game actually looks like. So we're gonna start the server, as we can see, packets initialized, NPCs initialized, etc, etc, and what port it's listening on, which by the end of this video has changed. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and connect with two clients. Let's see what happens on the server. We can see that the client's connected, spawn packet has been sent, etc. Now we're going to start a new instance, and we can see that we spawn in. I'm going to move around, and I managed to get the animations working on the other client as well, so it mimics it. And same goes for this one. Now we can actually take a stroll around the world. Oh, I also add the minimap, by the way. A stroll around the world. We have some collision going on. We can't really go into that thing. You know, it's a very basic game at this point. And I'm not putting too much effort into the actual game, more so the server. But yeah, so as you can see, we have this. Now I can finally start working on, you know, trading items, like a bunch of other cool things. I just want to get this part done and over with. Also, yeah, if I disconnect, uh, let's make sure I can see both of these guys. Let's say I disconnect on this one right here. We can see that he disappears over there, leaving an empty spot for the next player to connect. And that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm having a blast working on this. If you have any questions about it, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll answer it as good as I can. I'll see you in the next one.